What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today I want to talk about what happens once you hit level 30. This is going to kind of be just a brief, quick overview. I'm not going to go in crazy detail. But once you are getting towards level 26, you will unlock a stronghold. And you will unlock strongholds at 26, 28, and 30. You have to complete all three of these strongholds to be able to unlock your specialization at level 30. And of course, I'm sure most of you know what the specializations are. There's, these, there's the sniper style class, the, the character that has the crossbow, and also the character that uses the grenade launcher. Those are the three specializations you can choose from. You can swap between those specializations at any time you're not locked to just one. So once you have completed all three of those strongholds, you are level 30, you will be moved into what they call world tier one. And there are four world tiers in total. And during these world tiers, you will be fighting a new faction, as you see me fighting here uh, in the gameplay, that is called the Black Tusk. Now, this will unlock new daily and weekly projects for you to do as well. And this kind of is a soft cap idea. What will happen is once you're in each world tier, each world tier has a soft cap for gear score because that's what the game is based on after level 30. So once you're in world tier 1, you'll have a certain soft cap and gear score that you will have to meet then you can go do a mission and you will move on to do those uh, one of those three strongholds again against this new faction once you've completed that stronghold you will move on to world tier two then you will do the same thing for it then world tier three same thing there then world tier four at this point you are at what they call in game now there is a world tier five the mission for it or the stronghold for World Tier 5 is not available yet. The, the rumor is it's going to be out within a couple weeks of release. So this kind of gives everybody time to get to World Tier 4 and get geared up to kind of progress to that World Tier 5. Uh, the best thing to do, guys, once you are at that 30, you're trying to rank from World Tier to World Tier. The best thing to me is if you're looking for gear scores, definitely do strongholds. That is one of the best ways from World Tier 1, even when you're maxed out at World Tier 4, Strongholds are the best way to get quick gear, in my opinion. And it's always good quality gear. Um, and each tier kind of gets stronger as it goes on, if that makes sense. Like the, the, the missions that you will do within those tiers, the Strongholds that you will do within those tiers are very difficult. Uh, the further you go into the tiers, you can do them solo. I've done most of them solo, except for the strongholds. I always match make those because those are definitely a very difficult kind of four-man activity. But overall, guys, I've reached World Tier 4 finally. It was a fun grind to get there. And it's kind of like once you're at World Tier 4, that's where the game starts because now you can start putting together gear sets and figuring out what you want your character to kind of do, what kind of character you want him to be. Do you want it to be more of a DPS, more of a healthy style character, a healer, whatever the case may be. But that's just kind of a quick overview, guys, of what happens once you reach that level 30 uh, point. It is a very kind of grindy process to get there. But like I said, with this new faction kind of in the fold, to me it makes it a little more exciting because you got kind of some new enemies throwing things at you along the way. And to me, the playing the strongholds over was very, or a lot of fun as well because they are very enjoyable, they're very difficult, and it's kind of a challenge to do. And, of course, you get some good loot along the way. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.